Good day friends, it is me HL My Tech, and I am back with a sweet tutorial on how to work a little bit smarter with Tinkercad. So let's get cracking. Friends, we are starting on my website hlmodtech.com. I want to share it because I have the Tinkercad tab with tons of amazing lessons including starters for beginners. And then also I want to mention the sweet built-in messaging tool. Friends, if you ever have a question, comment, or suggestion, you can click that button, add your information, and reach out to me almost instantly. And you guessed it, today's topic was inspired by one of those comments. So let me show you what I got. So the first part, friends, is I want to share the Tinkercad Shape Generator Catalog. So this is an awesome catalog of all the shapes. You can see there are a couple pages of them. My students and I built this. It has the name, so that way you know what to search, which is what I'm going to show you in a moment, is the search. Now do remember, when you click this, you need to make a copy so that you have your own. Once you've done that, you can edit it, use it however you want. So once again, today's project starts with this right here this is a design of a quarter circle with a chunk taken out the user told me how they did it it was pretty darn slick but they said hey is there a slicker faster way so let me show you what I did I went over here to the search and since this is a quarter circle I typed quarter and check it out there is a quarter circle shape when you bring this out you can see that it is three quarters, but you can switch it to one quarter. You can type in your radius and your height, make it exactly the way you want. Now, this is what I did not know that I think is extra cool. So if I do my base radius of 100, which is close to what this user was building, you have to wait for it to cook. But then all of a sudden, check it out, you can make a sweet ramp with this. So if you do a base of 100 and you do a top radius of zero, boom, you have got a sweet ramp type shape. I would have never known this if I hadn't done the search because I was helping the user. So this is one of my favorite things about exploring these. So if I wanted to make it look like the other cylinder, I just do 100 boom that is the chunk and then i could cut out the inside chunk by doing Control d i'm going to nudge that one out here make it a hole all right so we've had some fun search and we learned how it can turn into a cone let me show you how you can make it look like this shape over here so first i'm going to select both of them click a line I'm going to make the purple one the boss, and I'm going to choose center and center so they're lined up. Now I want to cut out a smaller circle. So let's do it the smart way. Let's pretend the number we needed was 50 and 50. And after a second, it'll settle down and check it out. It is almost the exact shape. I'm going to take those two. I'm going to do group and boom, we have just made a shape similar to that. Now if it says node fails to load, just be patient and boom, it'll actually do what it's supposed to. Now notice mine is still too large compared to the one that was made over here. I'm gonna double click on it, so I'm editing. And instead of 50, let's try 35 and see if that's the number we need it. I'm gonna click outside so that it has time to render gives me the node fails to load. I'm gonna just be patient and bam, that is a pretty slick rendition of the one above. So there you have it friends, a pretty fun technique for making a quarter circle, all because we are slick enough to use search and maybe even that shape generator catalog that's on my website. One other quick thing I wanna share was that the user also used the sweet share tool. Oh my gosh, friends generate a link copy the link and then that was sent to me so i was able to open the project and really really get a good idea of what steve was creating which makes me a lot more efficient when i'm trying to help you and finally friends if you ever have one of those share links or why don't reach out don't forget my website hlmodtech.com built-in messaging tool. You can add your question, comment, or suggestion and reach me almost instantly. I do also want to remind you, friends, there is the awesome Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, we have more than 440 members and it is a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally, friends, I want to say thanks again to Steve for asking the question. And of course, friends, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you have a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below and if you haven't subscribed yet what are you waiting for smash that subscribe button and last but not least hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me hl mod tech thanks for watching have a great day